The sound of cheers echoing along Detroit's riverfront tonight. 1,000 young girls putting on quite the show and looking forward to the future. With ribbons in their hair, glittery uniforms, and smiles galore, these cheerleaders were ready to rock the house at the Aretha Franklin Amphitheater. It takes long hours and commitment, no matter your age, to get up on a stage like this one in front of 2,000 screaming spectators. Thanks to the nonprofit Sound Mind, Sound Body, 1,000 cheerleaders were able to take part in tonight's camp. Cheer teaches you so much about sisterhood, womenhood, and it just teaches you a lot, like sets your values for life overall. It's just a great experience. The weather, amazingly, is cooperating tonight. I mean, how many kids do you have out here? Over 1,000 cheerleaders from the Metro Detroit area, River Road, Southfield, Detroit. Some of these cheerleaders who are heading into high school will have the opportunity to earn college scholarships. Last year, SMSB brought in college coaches from across the country. So last year, Sama somebody brought coaches in from Kentucky, Alabama, everywhere, and they gave off scholarships to our girls right then and there. So cheer is a really big sport, and people should embrace it. In the past, the founder of Sound Mind, Sound Body focused solely on football players and their college prep with SAT and ACT tutoring, but felt it was important that girls in the city have an outlet as well. We want to try to level the disparities that are given to our young ladies. We feel they deserve the opportunity to have a platform to showcase their talents, just like our young men. Me being a football guy, I know how important it is to have something that inspires you. And this environment here is inspiring to young ladies. Tonight, coaches who took their teams to nationals were presented plaques from Council President Mary Sheffield's office and the Detroit City Caucus. <laughs> Sadly, this year we reported on nine-year-old Monet Pace of Sound Mind, Sound Body collapsing and dying after cheerleading practice. Her coach was here tonight. We're remembering her today. We still have, we have a banner. Our girls always have some type of symbol um, dedicated to her. And I wish she could be here, but it's such a blessing to be able to see the girls move, move forward. Amazing to see so many people out there. Now, because of Monet's death, Sound Mind, Sound Body is now partnering with the local hospital next year and will offer free, complete physicals. So in the future, no underlying health problems go undetected in those girls. Good to see them and her.